Okay, so everybody, today we have uh, Pavia, and uh, she's in the College of uh, Biological Sciences. Um, so, Pavia, can you introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. I'm Pavia. Uh, as mentioned, I'm a third year in Biological Sciences. I'm from India, but I've been living in Japan for a while now. Um, Bavia, if I may ask, uh, when did you first come to Japan? I moved here in 2015. So it's been eight years now. Okay. And before coming to Tsukuba, what school were you attending? I was attending an uh, Indian international school in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, how would you describe your program in your own words? The course I'm enrolled here is a multidisciplinary course, which deals with the various disciplines of biology. And in addition to these lectures, it has a very well equipped lab, lab systems, and we get a lot of practical training. And it's a well laid out course where you can specialize in your disciplines of interest. And the course concludes with a full year of research in your lab of interest. When you say practical training, uh, what do you mean? Can you clarify? There's a set of field courses we can enroll in where we go to these research stations uh, and get hands-on experience of how life works in, in the nature and it helps us better understand our concepts. Can you tell us a little bit about those research centers? So there's two for the biological sciences. One is called Sugai Daira Institute. It's, it's a mountainous range. And there's another by the sea uh, called Shimoda. So these two have very diverse environments and that helps us perform a lot of um, kind of studies on ecology or genetics and development and studies. Um, and uh, what, or what has been your all out favorite uh, course or experience so far? So far I've enjoyed this lab course that I've taken on campus actually. Um, it was a developmental genetics course and the professors were really helpful in, and I understood the concepts really well. And I learned a lot of molecular biotechniques and that actually got me a lot more interested in developmental biology. And you think you will pursue development of biology in the future? Yes, actually I might join a developmental biology lab in my fourth year and I might take a molecular biology course going into master's. So you will go into master's? Yes, for now that's the plan that I continue my studies with a master's and work in the industry for a while. Okay. Yeah, so ultimately you want to and uh, go into industry. Industry, yes. Okay. What did you do to prepare for admissions? For admissions, um, I, had, I had to go through a two-step process. Uh, in step one, I had to submit several documents. One, um, the most important one was letter of intent. Uh, why I was interested in the course, I had to show my passion and how my interests matched that of the course I was applying to. I had to talk about why I was choosing the university and what I knew about course. And if I think they wanted to check if I was choosing the right one. And the second document was letters of recommendation I had to get from my teachers in high school. Uh, basically, I think it's about my behavior and conduct in school. And I had to give a uh, English proficiency test. And so once I submitted such documents and you got through the first screening, there was a second screening where you had to give an interview to a panel. And that was the two steps I had to follow. Okay. And what was the interview process like? 
it was a little nerve-wracking in the beginning because uh, it was over over Zoom call, and it was there was five of professors that I had not known before, and all of them shooting questions at me. But as the interview went on, it got easier, and I could understand um, the questions because there was a slight delay in the connections, and uh, there was technical issues, and but. It went well, I think. Okay, that's good. Um, and uh, how are your classmates? My classmates, um, they're from different countries. So that that's a really fun experience I get to have here at the university. I have classmates from Indonesia and from Thailand and a few that are mixed race from from the states and half Japanese, so there's a lot, kind, lot very diverse. Um, and uh, is it a lot more diverse compared to your high school? Oh yes, definitely a lot more diverse than my high school. And how how do you benefit from diversity? You think? I think it allows me to have a more global mindset. It makes me more sensitive to tradition, to different traditions, and I think it just makes me more accepting of the differences. And I think because the world is aiming to become global, and think every every place is the end goal is globalization. I think studying at a university with such diverse uh, stu student population is like a good inoculation to it. Okay, thank you. Um, let's talk practical stuff a little bit more. Um, do you have a scholarship? I don't have a scholarship, but I have a tuition exemption. Uh, so that that is there's different kinds where you could be partly exempted from tuition or fully. And I've been fully exempted from tuition for the past two and a half years. So I've been studying for free so far. Okay. And how's the, uh, what was the application process like for that? For that, uh, we had to submit a letter of intent uh, as to why, explain why you were applying and what the need for the tuition exemption. And there is uh, internal screening with, for the applicants um, based on performance at the university. Okay. Got it. Thank you for that. Um, and uh, I understand that you uh, have lived in Tokyo, yeah, and uh, yeah. now you live in Tsukuba with your family. Uh, right. So comparing the two cities, uh, what differences do you find? Um, Tsukuba is definitely a lot more slowly paced. Uh, it, it's a more of a residential city than Tokyo. Tokyo, there's a lot happening. Um, it's there's a lot more attractions, uh, a lot more activities uh, that you could do. Th there's more nature, I guess, in Tsukuba. There's Mount Tsukuba, very close, um, that you could see probably from any building in Tsukuba. So that's a really pretty site. And there's a lot of fields and paddy fields and cycling routes. So I think Tsukuba is a city you can connect more with nature. And Tokyo is something you can go for a weekend's uh, trip. Since you're studying biology, maybe, you know, maybe it's a good yeah, thing that you I, are, yeah. You know. Yeah, I think I'm a little more biased towards that, but I think having having the slow time is really important. Right, right. What are some challenges that uh, international students might face at Scuba? I think, not necessarily just in Tsukuba, but maybe overall in Japan, is the language barrier that not many people can speak English. Um, but Japanese people are always ready to help. And I think sign language helps. So sign language. You, 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 yeah, sign language is it's really helpful and you can you can work with it. Okay. Okay. Well that's good to know. Yeah. Um Okay, and uh, in the future, uh, 
um, we talked about it just a little bit earlier, a few minutes ago, but uh, what do you want to do in your future? I want to continue with a master's degree in molecular biology or biotechnology. And I want to get some experience uh, after the master's in the industry. And maybe 20 years or so later, I want to hopefully start my own biotechnology firm in India. Yeah. Great. Wow. That's, uh, that's awesome. Um, you know, I, I hope it, you know, it, it, it succeeds and I hope you, you will, you know, get to fulfill your dreams. Um, you. And uh, it seems like you are, you know, get, getting a lot of sort of like information and knowledge that would set you up for that kind of career in the future uh, here. Definitely. Uh, yeah. 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 Thanks very much. Uh, any last words uh, for our audience? I think talking to my friends and family who live in other countries, a lot of people don't know about the options available in, in Japan for international students. They're really surprised when I tell them that I study uh, my whole course in English for the really low prices. It might seem um, scary to study in, uh, Japanese, in a country where English is not used, but Japan is a really safe and great country with very rich culture and really kind and sweet people with and you can study with quite minimal uh, fee uh, and get world class education. So I think if you're looking for universities in Japan, you should go for it and you're in the right path. Great. Fabia, thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, best of luck to you. Okay. Thank you.